75 years ago, on May 8, 1946, administrators from 16 hospitals in the National Capital Area convened at Children's Hospital to organize a hospital council. It was first the Hospital Council, next the Healthcare Council of the National Capital Area, and today the Healthcare Council. Of those 16 hospitals that founded the organization, 10 are still in existence perhaps with a new name or new campus, but still recognizing the strength that comes from working together. Here are their stories. Anova Alexandria Hospital is the oldest continuously operating community hospital in Virginia. Our roots date to 1872, when Julia Johns, daughter of an Episcopal bishop, created a society to establish a hospital. Julia and a board of female trustees opened the Alexandria Infirmary in a townhouse owned by the bishop in what is now Old Town Alexandria. The infirmary is notable for its early contributions in the field of emergency medicine, and in 1895, it established the first nursing school in Northern Virginia. During our rich history, we have continuously enhanced our facility and services to offer the latest treatments and technologies. Anova Alexandria Hospital is proud to be one of the original founders of the Healthcare Council, and we extend our congratulations on 75 years of collaboration to support high quality medical care. For decades, the George Washington University Hospital has been a cornerstone of medical education, research, and care in the nation's capital. National Medical College was founded in 1824, and 20 years later, its infirmary began operation as the first general hospital in Washington, D.C. The history of the hospital is intertwined with the history of the nation. The infirmary was used as a military hospital for Civil War casualties, and GW medical students and doctors were involved in efforts to save both Lincoln in 1865 and Reagan in 1981 after they were shot. Through the years, the George Washington University Hospital has actively sought to create partnerships in the region and nationwide in order to advance healthcare. As a member of the original group that established the Healthcare Council, it is evident that the George Washington University Hospital has a long standing belief in the power of collaboration to further the cause of healthcare. Congratulations on 75 rewarding years. Sibley Memorial Hospital began serving our community at the turn of the 20th century offering both nursing education and high quality medical care. Residents quickly turned to Sibley for everything from routine care to the births of their children to serious needs. So much so that our original location on North Capitol Street expanded to fill an entire block in just our first 25 years. In 1961, after outgrowing our North Capitol Street location, we moved to our current address on Loughborough Road on land acquired through congressional legislation. But even earlier, our leaders understood the value of partnerships and joined visionaries from other area hospitals in 1946 to form the Healthcare Council. Today, the Healthcare Council remains a valued partner, working with us and others to advance high quality medical care and education throughout our region. Congratulations on 75 years of excellent work. We look forward to continuing our partnership in the years to come. Adventist Healthcare's roots begin in 1907 when the Washington Sanitarium opened in Tacoma Park to bring hope and healing to the nation's capital. Our mission then is still consistent over 100 years later. We extend God's care through the ministry of physical, mental, and spiritual healing. This total well-being approach has been so successful in helping our community achieve the best health outcomes that Adventist Healthcare has grown to become a comprehensive healthcare system, including three acute care hospitals, two rehabilitation hospitals, and two community cancer centers. Similar to our role as a founding member of the Healthcare Council, we promote collaboration through the One Health Quality Alliance. As we look to the future, we are excited to continue developing innovative ways to best serve our community through high quality, compassionate care. Serving children for more than 150 years, Children's National Hospital has been an innovator in pediatric health care around the nation and the world. We are one of the nation's first children's hospitals opening our door in 1870 in a rented row house in Washington, D.C. 
From the beginning, we've been committed to educating pediatric nurses and medical students to serve our community. By 1946, Children's National was pleased to host administrators from hospitals throughout the area when they met to organize the health care council that we are honoring here today. Over the years, Children's National has grown with our community and opened our existing hospital in 1976. Throughout the years, we recognize the immense benefits to be found when people and institutions collaborate. And we are thankful that the members of the Healthcare Council continue to support our commitment to improving care for children. Through innovative research, technologies, and treatments, we will transform pediatric healthcare for the benefit of children around the world. Arlington Hospital, now called Virginia Hospital Center, began as a community project of five women's clubs at a joint meeting in 1933. Following that initial gathering, the women collected $5 donations from local organizations, and by the next year, the Arlington Hospital Association was created. In the decade that followed, Arlington Hospital grew into a fully operational 100-bed facility that was completed in 1944. It was proud to be able to step up and join with 16 other hospitals in organizing the hospital council. Over the years, Virginia Hospital Center has continued to grow including the nine-story hospital building that opened in 2004 and our expansion project that kicked off in 2019. We are honored to be a founding member of the Healthcare Council and we value the collaboration it encourages as we continue to improve the health services in the communities we all serve. In 1943, Suburban Hospital opened as a 130-bed hospital to accommodate the expanding World War II military population in rural Montgomery County, Maryland. In our first year, we admitted 3,000 patients and had an operating budget of $13,000. A lot has changed since then, but our unwavering commitment to meeting the needs of our community has not. 75 years ago, Suburban Hospital joined with 16 other hospitals to form what was then the Hospital Council. Since that time, we have established important and robust relationships with our local and regional partners to meet the growing healthcare needs of our patients, their families, and our community. We look forward to working together over the next 75 years to support the health and well being of everyone we serve. Thank you for being a part of our shared journey and commitment to healthcare excellence. In 1862, Freedman's Hospital, now Howard University Hospital, began servicing its medical needs for thousands of African Americans who came to Washington, D.C. during the Civil War, seeking their freedom. After the war, it became a teaching hospital for Howard University's medical school, but it remained under federal control until 1967 when it was transferred to the university. In 2020, Adventist Healthcare formed a strategic partnership with the hospital and is currently providing management services there. As one of the founders of the original Hospital Council 75 years ago, Howard University Hospital stepped up to join with others to promote healthcare in the area. And as we look to the future, we know that together we will continue to find innovative and beneficial ways to collaborate as we provide hope and healing for our communities. On behalf of all of us at MedStar Health, and MedStar Georgetown University Hospital, I am proud to congratulate the Healthcare Council on its 75th anniversary. This is a remarkable milestone, and we are proud of our role as a founding member of the organization. As I reflect on our long-standing partnership with the Healthcare Council, I also reflect on our hospital's unique and compelling history. MedStar Georgetown University Hospital was originally founded in 1898 as a part of Georgetown University School of Medicine. Since then, we have achieved phenomenal growth, reaching patients in our local community, regionally, and internationally. However, one thing has never changed, and that is our mission of providing physical and spiritual comfort to our patients and loved ones in the spirit of Cura Personalis, care of the whole person. We are also proud of our history with the Healthcare Council which began in 1946. 
as a founding member of the council, MedStar Georgetown, along with the other founding members, envisioned how this partnership could enhance our ability to exchange information and best practices with other hospitals to improve the delivery of healthcare for patients throughout this region. Working collaboratively, we have advanced health for the communities we serve. So today, as we honor and recognize the Healthcare Council's 75th anniversary, I am truly optimistic about our future and confident that we will continue advancing healthcare for many more years to come. Again, congratulations to the Healthcare Council. And from all of us at MedStar Health and MedStar Georgetown University Hospital, we wish everyone good health. Thank you.